Hey everyone, Aditi here with Lodestone Production, where we help you discover your true north. So this is reading for Halloween or Sally, depending on how you celebrate. And I'm going to bring out to start my Moonology Oracle deck. We are going to fling it as it's what. We're going to fling it and see what the spirit has to say for today. I was literally called to get up and do something. That's a lot. Get up and do something. Emotions are running high, the end of a tough cycle approaches, conclusions are within reach, nothing will come with this situation, and meditate and contemplate. Okay, yeah, this is for me. This is for me. Um, like, coming in and being open and vulnerable with your gifts is a very big thing. Luck is on your side, thank you. It's a very big thing and being comfortable with something as personal as your conversations with God, which is how I take my card reading. This is a God-given gift and the interpretation and the communication that comes along with it are all gifts to me. And learning how to learning how to share and be comfortable with sharing. I didn't realize it was going to have such an impact on me as an individual. And so for that reason, I did pull back communication as can. So for that reason, I did pull back quite a bit. Um, Try to figure out how, how to present myself, how to be, good night, how to be my most authentic self. Prosperity lies ahead. The energy is gaining momentum. Thank you. How, I, how to present myself in the most authentic way. Because the way I see it, that's, that's the new currency. The, the lies and the glamour that have surrounded all of these things, like religion, spirituality, divination, all of the signs that we can't see. And it's been this, you can talk about it, but not talk about it kind of thing. It's, okay, now I'm just scrambling. Ultimately, a win-win outcome is forecast. Ultimately, I have been wrestling with myself on whether or not the page is successful, if Full Circle Sunday is successful, how to am I well within it. But I guess I'm going to take this time. to tell you what happened. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. Your commitment is being tested. You don't say. Yes, it is. Years ago, having a conversation with a friend, and 
we talked about all things spiritual, had lots of lots of really good talks. That turned into a weekly meeting, which turned into what do you need to release? Yeah. Which turned into Full Circle Sunday, which is another page that I'm a part of. Links down below. So, flash forward. Full Circle Sunday has a great start. Um, had some rocky things happening. Very close to achieving the goal. Had some rocky things happening in learning how to run a run a YouTube page and how to come up with content and make it the time for healing, believe in the impossible confidence is the key to your success and how to make it work, right? But yeah, there was definitely a belief in the impossible. And being confident that we knew what it was we were doing. Because this person started off as a friend and wound up being a roommate for a couple of years. Alright? And we started this, started this page. And for a long time, even during the pandemic, it was a joint effort. Until it wasn't. And because it drug on for so long, I internalized a time to give rather than take. Work through your fears and nothing will come of this situation. Your hard work is paying off. It, be, it wound up not being a joint effort. And I was hurt by that. I was hurt deeply by that. Even though it's what I asked for. Yeah, I definitely asked for it. Your dream is due to practical plan. Show the world the real view. Adjustments are required. A win-win outcome is forecast. So, anyway, back to the story. So, fast forward to a time when my then co-host informed me that she was going to focus on her own stuff. And in the midst of that conversation, said some really hurtful things to me, which have stuck with me and it ultimately led to me feeling the way that I'm feeling now. Dropped off and left for dead with this joint venture. Dropped off and left 
for dead, period. And spirituality and practicality take time to breathe out. A fiery climax approaches and surrender to the divine. Okay. I have been riddled with passion before, and it's been very counterproductive is the word I'm looking for. I wound up doing more damage than good. And as much as I would like to, oh, that's cool. As much as I would like to go in and like flip over tables and shoot people a finger and tell them just how they've done me wrong, like it just, part of me, and I don't know Part of me doesn't want to cause a thing. Expect powerful change. You and your loved ones are safe people. And make the first move and look at the big picture. Mm. And now I kind of wonder if me not wanting to make a scene or blow up or make things worse is because it's me not wanting to stand up for myself. It's time to take action. A new start is coming. Meditate and contemplate. Personal issue reaches resolution. Okay. So I think in a very real way, this is me standing up for myself, acknowledging out loud just how hurt and angered I am because I trusted this person, you know? I trusted them. And I was open and honest in a way that I've never been with anyone, including myself. And while that's scary, it's quite liberating. So I guess I need to be radically honest again. Keep walking enough. Don't let your past hold you back. It's time to release negativity and bring blood into the situation. Bringing love into the situation, but bringing love to whom? Bringing love to whom? Don't let your past hold you back. It's time to release negativity. are within reach, luck is on your side, nothing is yet set in stone, emotions are running high, and don't let pride get in the way. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm concerned with. Do I blow up and make shit worse? Like, the most effective way for me to immediately deal with this anger and betrayal and hurt. Knight of Wands, really? Just kick it all over, huh? 
just 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 kick it all over. And I don't want just come in real quick. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Really? Let's see. Yeah, if you hit him with the truth. Yeah, if you hit him with the truth and only the truth. You can't go on with all that old shit. Coming here in another thing. Nah, you gotta come in quick, quick, honest, and balanced. Ooh, ain't gonna like that shit. Hell, you might not like that shit. Guess you have to deal with it. You'd have to deal with it if you ain't gonna like it. Like, what's the, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You change, you adjust, you grow. Ooh. But, gotta shake shit up. Because this can't stay this way. Can't stay this way. Yep. 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 Oh, look at that. Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands. And seven of wands. You'll feel better. You'll feel better once you do. Bring it down. Bring it all down. Burn it down with the truth. Burn it down with the truth. Burn it down with the truth. Stand on that shit. Burn it down with the truth and stand on that shit. With the truth, King of Wands, I mean King of Swords, with the truth, cold hard truth, that. Oh shit, cold hard truth, okay. You ain't gonna like this shit. I am. But you ain't gonna like this shit. Damn. Damn. Don't let pride get in your way, but fuck them. Really? That seems like a contradiction in terms. Well, yeah, because you always want to have it both ways. I want everybody to be happy. I want things to grow and you can't grow. Tear everything down. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You, you got to burn down the crops in order to neutralize, the, add nutrients to the soil. It's fine. It's fucking fine. Is there any other, any other advice that you have here? Any other advice at all? <laughs> the tower. Yeah. Burn it all down with truth. And that's what I'm going to do. All right, everybody, you see it. Don't let pride get in your way. You burn it all down with the truth. All right, so those are my marching orders. You all, thank you for spending some time with me today. Um, I will upload another video um, to see what's going on in the collective, but I needed to get this out and share this with you all so you guys can understand that I really am a human being. I'm a real person with thoughts and feelings, 
and some goals and I really some thoughts, feelings and goals and uh, I appreciate you spending some time with me today and listening. All right. So until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you all next time. Bye now.